Hello students, I would like to talk to you about English 102 Unit 2. If you are in our course in D2L, you will navigate either through the schedule or through the table of contents to get to Unit 2. When you are in Unit 2, you will see that you have learning materials to review and assignments and submissions. This unit basically takes you through four assignments so that you will learn how to write an essay that provides information about your research topic. The research topic is the exact same one you've been working on, so you are already becoming familiar with your topic. So the same topic you utilized for the literature re review in Unit 1 you are sticking with that topic in Unit 2, unless you have talked to your instructor about, for some reason, changing your topic. So the first thing you'll want to do is look at the Unit 2 overview. You will watch this video, and you can always refer to it later in the semester if you have questions about Unit 2. You have three formative assignments and one research essay. The formative assignments all contribute to your ability to successfully complete the essay. So the first assignment in this unit is revisiting your topic. So you're going to look at that topic you selected in Unit 1. You will continue to use it, but you will be prompted to answer questions that will deepen your understanding of the topic. You will often decide to limit your topic at this point and select a narrow focus within your topic. The second formative assignment is called the Article Selection and Comparing Author Perspectives Assignment. This is a brainstorming assignment. You will be using the SERS database that our Delaware Tech Library subscribes to, and you will find two new articles. These articles will be written by authors or groups of authors who have something new to say about your topic. By reading different articles, you will be broadening your understanding of the topic. And you will also see how different people take different opinions and stances and can make various arguments about any given topic you will start to formulate your own opinion about the topic. The third formative assignment is the Unit 2 Informative Essay Graphic Organizer. You will review the feedback from the brainstorm, from the revisiting your topic assignment, and you will continue to enhance your understanding of the topic, and you will continue to learn from the research that you've gathered thus far. Finally, you will be writing an informative research essay. This is the summative, the final essay. You can always look at the schedule to see what it is that you should be reading and doing at any given time during the unit. The unit is about three to four weeks, depending on if you are taking this over a 15-week semester or an 11-week semester. So you see in this column, you have the learning materials, what readings you should familiarize yourself with in order to master this unit. Each week, you will have something due. The due dates, and assignments are in this column. So again, the first formative assignment, the second formative assignment, the third one, and then finally the essay itself. By working your way through the learning materials, you are better prepared to submit an informative essay that meets your ass assignment goals. One of the main things you will come back to time and time again during this uh, unit is the very first learning material. What is an informative research essay? This learning material goes over 
what the essay is going to look like, the requirements of it, and some tips on how to complete it and how you should format it. As always, we will use APA formatting guidelines. You will definitely want to click through the Google Slides to see what you are doing at each point of the essay. You should also download a copy. You can download it in Microsoft Word or PDF form. This is a sample research essay written by another student. And again, you can see how the essay is formatted. You will be reminded of what APA formatting looks like, and you can see what the reference page looks like. And of course, you will be doing another topic, but it still is helpful for you to look at how another student has approached this assignment. Something else I would encourage you to do is look at the rubric anytime you have an assignment due. Assignments always have the rubric linked with the number of points. So each time you see that, you should look at it to see how you will be assessed. And the four assignments for this unit are all lined up in linear fashion. So you can scroll through and see what it is you will be doing each week this um, unit. Within getting started, you have probably already looked at this, but I will refresh your memory. In course information, you can look at the required assignments and point values. And at that point, you can see that this entire unit is worth 30% of your course grade. So we really do encourage you to try to submit your best work. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with your instructor.